Welcome to the Canvas overview video for AP Computer Science. Uh, this is the AP Computer Science homepage in Canvas. Um, it has the course name, my name, my email address. You can click on right here to send me an email, as well as my phone number. Um, this just goes to voicemail, but if you do leave me a voicemail, I'll get an email with the voicemail in it. So that works as well. Um, this looks just like all your other courses. And you've got the same eight buttons here at the bottom that you see elsewhere. Um, most of the buttons go to um, resources outside of this Canvas course. So like Infinite Campus, Academic Support, Learning Commons, Student Services, Tech Support. The calendar link goes to your um, Canvas calendar. Um, the two specific to this course are the Daily Agenda um, and the Course Materials button. So let's click on the Daily Agenda button first. Here is our current daily agenda for the first unit that we have in AP Computer Science, our introduction unit. Um, each unit is divided into a variety of topics, and each topic will have its own page in Canvas. So this is the first page for the first unit. Um, there embedded within this page are the Google Slides for our daily targets, um, what to do right now in homework. Um, there is a to-do list, uh, which will um, tell you for each day um, exactly uh, what needs to be done that day. Um, there is a section for extra practice, um, and there's a section for extension resources as well. I use different icons within the to-do list, and there's a legend here at the bottom that shows you. So just by based on the type of icon, you can tell is this something that you're going to be reading or watching, is this a task that will be done by the whole class, a task that will be done by a small group, a task that will be done individually? Um, is this a formative assessment or is this a summative assessment? Um, both of those being uh, solo tasks as well. All right, let's go back to the home page because I also want to show you where we go when we click on the course materials link. So the course materials link takes us to the modules in this Canvas course. Um, and specifically, it takes us to the Introduction and Resources module. Um, this module is at the very top, and it has some direct links to commonly used resources, such as our Classroom Zoom, some Zoom expectations and tips, the Zoom for office hours, some feedback, um, some other common links down here, which are more just resources like our AP Quick Reference, GitHub, the AP Classroom, the Syllabus, um, a page of all sorts of software tools, online tools, reference sites, review sites. Um, a particularly use on this page is probably the Getting Started at a Glance page. So if I click on that, you'll see the page for that kind of gives you an overview and an introduction to the AP Computer Science Canvas course. Um, specifically here, there is a section on communication. Um, explains how course updates are going to be communicated. Um, primarily that's done through the the daily agenda page that we saw earlier um, and the slides that are embedded within that page. Um, irregular updates uh, will be posted via announcements. Usually those are different opportunities for students beyond the scope of the course. Um, during class, we'll be doing our whole group, small group, pair, and solo activities via Zoom. Um, and we will talk through our expectations and tips for Zoom. Um, I do record our classes, specifically the live coding parts of our classes, and put them on the YouTube channel. Um, there's a different playlist for each unit, and that will be available in the Canvas module for that unit. If Zoom goes down for some reason, we got a backup plan. We'll use this Google Meet link instead. Um, after class communication, encourage students to ask questions in the Google chat for this class. Um, I or other students, you can answer each other's questions and are encouraged to do so. We'll respond most quickly to chat messages. Um, if the communication is personal or private in some manner, it should be done via email. There's a, you can click here to send me an email. One-on-one um, -on -one meetings will occur during my office hours, which I'll post weekly um, on Canvas. And this is the link to the office hours Zoom. Um, I relish in feedback from students. Um, I prefer that you email it to me or we can talk about it during office hours. Um, but if you're more comfortable, you are more than welcome to provide it anonymously through this link as well. 
Um, I have a little bit of a section here on expectations in terms of where you get access to different materials, which is all through the Canvas modules. I explain the organizational method for this class. Basically, each module corresponds to a unit of study. Each module is divided into sections. Each section corresponds to a major concept. Each section starts with a page that has the following information in it, like we just saw with the introduction page a moment ago. One thing I did want to mention is that I will assign due dates to each assignments. This will make sure that they show up as expected in your Canvas calendar. Um, you may find your Canvas calendar and your Canvas dashboard um, to-do list very helpful um, because they're really the only two places that aggregate all of your assignments from all of your classes. Um, and I have some links here to guides on how to use and customize those um, that may serve you well. Um, and some expectations for the start of class. I uh, expect you to join our Zoom each day um, and review that uh, the current page in the section that has the daily targets do now and homework slide and see what's on the to-do list. I have some quick access links down here to our most commonly used resources. They're also in the module. Speaking of modules, um, to look at that in a little bit more detail, we already looked at the introduction to resource module. But a typical module for the unit would be like this objects module here. At the top of each module is a set of unit resources. These are ones applicable for the entire unit. Again, the same daily targets and homework slides, just linked in a different place, notes from GitHub, um, and the YouTube playlist of class recordings. Under that will be sections where each section is where each section has a, a page, for example, introduction, and is followed by all of the assignments. Um, related to that particular section. And then a new section will have a new page, for example, using objects, and have a variety of assignments and links underneath that. Um, there will be a section for review resources for each unit, and then at the end, a section for summative um, assessments for each unit as well. So I hope this is helpful. Gives you a little bit of an overview of how our Canvas course is organized. As always, please don't hesitate to ask questions. Um, or offer suggestions on how to make it better. Thanks so much.